Hi, I'm Hector Marte and I'm a medical assistant at Central Outreach. My pronouns are he, him. So what brought me to Central Outreach was the fact that the type of work we do here. Honestly, I came from the hospital setting and being here, doing the work that we do with the community is what helped me decide to actually work with Central Outreach on the mission that we stand for. So in my spare time, I actually like to uh, hang out with my friends, you know, to try to go out and take walks. I'm actually starting to read a book right now, so I'm trying to go back to reading. I'm reading um, a book called Out for Blood, it's a gay vampire story. I don't know. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying that, so that's what I'm trying to do with my hobbies these days. So my celebrity crush, that would be like Paul Walker, I think. Um, I loved him in Fast and the Furious, and um, you know, he was just really hot. So, I don't know, that's pretty much what I got with him. <laughs> so I think my worst annoying habit would be, I tend to um, make noises every time I like, so like if I like, I'm frustrated, I'll be like, oh, or I'll just always make these noises and um, people call me out on it all the time. So it's kind of, <laughs> I didn't realize I did it, but now I just kind of play with it. So, yeah. My all-time favorite movie is actually Twister. I love that movie. Honestly, I was, like, I was a kid, um, just loved storms and tornadoes. I actually wanted to be a meteorologist, but obviously I went to the medical field. Well, it's actually both an embarrassing moment and injury. Um, I actually walked through um, glass before, um, and this was at a job I had a long time ago when I was like my early 20s. And it was pretty embarrassing, and I did hurt myself while I was there as well. So that was one of, one of my most embarrassing moments. I ended up forgetting some stitches. You know, it wasn't too bad, but still, it was the most embarrassing thing I could actually think of, just walking through a glass door, like a glass wall, whatever it was. <laughs> Well, I got into the field. Um, I've been a CNA for many years. Um, I used to work in nursing homes, and I used to take care of the elderly patients. Um, so I really got into it because I wanted to help. I started getting into different types, like in the hospital setting. I'm going working in the emergency room and in psych and detox because I was really passionate about helping people with um, people that had issues with drug drug problems and um, psych issues as well. So that's kind of why I got into it. My favorite memory of working at Central Outreach is actually kind of weird because it's kind of funny actually because when I first started working here we were getting food upstairs and I mean everybody just broke out into song, into the same song and it was just like an environment from where I, did, I came from a very corporate environment where that didn't happen and that was something one of my favorite memories of actually working here and how everybody was just so like just different in their own way but all, all, all together at the same time you know. Central Outreach mission is important to me because when I first moved to Pittsburgh, I was um, diagnosed and um, I was diagnosed before I came to Pittsburgh and I did, wasn't on any medication or anything and I, I was kind of lost. Coming to Central has helped me to actually, with my own with my own situation, help me with my own uh, dealing with it myself. That's why it's important. It's important for people like to have that resource web be that um, that is not really available in most in most cases. So it's you know it's important that we are out there and now we're getting reaching to communities that don't even know the things that we do. So that's what I believe in. And I believe the statement is very important. When I first started coming here it was a very small clinic and there wasn't many employees or anything. So it, to watch it grow is a blessing and it's really awesome to see.